How are we all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. This is your boy Joey with Divine Creation. You are infinite and to add on to that, you are love and you are very much loved, all right? For my reoccurring subscribers, welcome back to my channel. For new subscribers, welcome to the Divine Family. If you enjoy positive, empowering, manifestation, spiritual, law of assumption related content, do me a favor and click that bell icon. You won't want to miss out. So as you can see, I'm here. It's a little later in the day. I've been cleaning my house up. That's why my hair is a mess. That's why I'm in this like kind of like messy shirt. But I felt inspired to record this video. And I did say that um, as a follow up to yesterday's video, towards the end of the video, I talked about applying the teachings. All right. Now, hang on one second to get a little bit better lighting. All right. So when I say apply the teachings, we're gonna hop right into that. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but we're gonna hop right in. So a lot of times, and this was myself at one point, you know, a lot of newcomers are like this too. Oh, looks like the cat's going at it again. <laughs> a lot of newcomers, they'll learn and learn and learn, but they won't apply, all right? I got stuck in this trap for a long, long time. And it's kind of like a little trap because, you know, where your focus goes, energy flows, shit begins to grow until boom, it shows. You know what I'm saying? That's my own personal quote. But it's very much true. So, you know, the more you keep focusing on learning and um, learning how to manifest, learning about different techniques, learning about this and that and that and this, you know what I'm saying? What are you going to manifest? What are you gonna manifest? You guys can answer that question. I think you know what I'm gonna say, okay? I need not say further. And if you really don't know what the answer to that is, you, you can ask down below. Anyways, that's a little bit of a trap, okay? How you can get rid of that, how you, well not get rid of it, how you can overcome that, so to speak, is to start applying the shit. You know what I'm saying? Actually take, uh, make that conscious effort to apply what you're learning and keep applying it every day, every single day. Get it as natural as possible. That is the goal. This manifestation is not a quick fix. It is a fucking lifestyle, okay? It is something that I've grown to be very passionate about. I first learned about manifestation many, many, many years ago. And throughout the years on and off, I learned, I applied, not as much as I'd like to, not as much as I do now. And, you know, my life has changed bit by bit for the better, okay? And I look at where I'm at now and the amount of stuff that I have manifested, you know, my own place, finances, you know what I'm saying, a nice paying job. I'm manifesting love for myself and specific person and so much more, better relationships with my family and friends. And, you know, this didn't happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? It was a gradual process, but it's because I kept that focus clean. Now, I've had my own bad days, and I know you guys have too. And I know even the greatest teachers and coaches have their bad days, okay? But it's up to you to decide what you're going to do, okay? So are you going to decide that you're the type of person? Are you going to choose that you're the type of person that continuously just learns and learns and learns and doesn't apply? Or the opposite? Are you going to decide, choose to be that person, that version of yourself that actually applies what they're learning? Okay. In yesterday's video, I was talking about self, well, not self-love um, particularly. I was talking about love as a whole and how you are love. And that still stands. You very much are. But, you know, I realize it's not one of those things where you can just snap your fucking finger and, and completely transform into that transform, so to speak. You already are that, but you get the point. I realize that. So this is where applying comes into play, all right? I don't usually encourage people to keep utilizing technique after technique. I say maybe choose one or two techniques that you feel comfortable with. I know there's a couple other coaches that um, have preached this, but it's, it's very accurate, I'd like to say, because I got caught up in that trap too, where, you know, um, you start to apply the shit, but then you, you kind of over apply, you know what I'm saying? You start doing a hundred different things, you know what I'm saying? 
and then your focus starts getting scattered and it's like holy fuck what's going on you start draining yourself mentally excuse me not mentally <laughs> mentally spiritually you know what i'm saying energetically so i say choose one to two at most techniques that you genuinely enjoy and just keep you know just keep testing that keep using those techniques to test the waters apply the shit apply the teachings you know what i'm saying you could apply the teachings in various ways but techniques i'm using that example because it's the most common example that's the easiest way i've found to fucking uh really make this work i mean i don't do this anymore every once in a while i'll do it if i feel inspired um but for the most part i don't because I've gotten myself to the point self-concept-wise, self-love-wise, acknowledging that I'm love, acknowledging how easy this process is that I could just set an intention in the morning or throughout the day, I can intend to experience something and then it happens. Now, I don't go seeking and searching for it, it just kind of shows up. Now, obviously, there are some things that I've set intentions for that, and, and I'm doing my best here <laughs> to not contradict myself by acknowledging the old story, but there are some things that haven't shown up yet, and that's the key word, yet, okay? So, I, but I know that they, you know, I know it's only a matter of time, you know what I'm saying? Because everything else has. That's the thing, if you're applying this shit and you're seeing results, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep building your faith. You know, Joseph Ally talks about that all the time, except, you know, he, he talks about it um, from the sense of, I, I think he preach, he preaches about like, writing down, making lists, okay? Making lists of things that you'd like to experience. And that's what I was actually gonna say earlier is, you know, that's what I used to do, is I would write down lists from the standpoint, I would literally write down, it would literally go something like this. I have now received, uh, now, okay? I have now received a large sum of free money. I have now received a compliment from a specific person. And I'm not talking about like my specific person, I'm just talking about any person, you know what I'm saying? Or I have now received a free cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? Basic things like that. And that build, that build in my faith. You know what I'm saying? That this shit really is real. This shit does work. I know it works. And to add on to what I was saying earlier about how I built myself up to this point. You know, like I said, I can just think something set an intention by thought and just experience it i don't need to write stuff down because i acknowledge this really is this fucking effortless now i wasn't always like this you know what i'm saying like i used to act with force a lot you know what i'm saying when i first started out within this community i'm not gonna lie to you guys you know what i'm saying i gave myself a little bit <laughs> actually to some a big uh bad rep you know what i'm saying and i learned from that I learned from that and I started growing. I started growing myself because I realized that that got created by me. You know what I'm saying? Those people were reflecting what was going on within me. So I started applying all these different things. And now when I apply it, and I still do daily, it's in a very healthy way. I think it's in a healthy, loving way. You know what I'm saying? So basically the point of this video is don't get stuck in that trap of just learning and learning and learning, but never applying. Don't get stuck in the trap of applying too much either. Find that right balance, the sweet spot, all right? Don't worry about the how, don't worry about the when. And I'm actually gonna talk about the how and the when again in my next video. I've talked about this many times before, I'm huge on that, all right? Because I know that's something that people struggle with the most is, is how something's gonna happen and when, all right? The how and when is not your job, so don't worry about that. So yeah, that's really all I have to say in this video. If you enjoyed this, give a thumbs up, click that sub, click that bell, comment, whatever, share. I would definitely be very grateful for that. And I am manifesting that, manifesting. Anyways, much love and peace, guys. I really, really intend the best for you. That's why I'm doing these videos. I've, these new perspectives that I've been getting, that, I, that have been showing up, have been absolutely insane in a very good way and i'm grateful to be here sharing this with you all right so have a beautiful rest of your day much love and peace